Okay, it is a uh, brand new edition of Stuff People Send Me. This is a, a video that I had a lot of fun doing it the last time. I think it maybe was a little bit too long. So I think we did seven items last time. So this time around I picked five packages out of the stack. I just, I didn't even look at who they came from. I just kind of randomly picked up five different ones. I brought them in here. We're gonna open them up and we're gonna find out exactly who made them and what these things are all about. So we're gonna open up this one first. This is from Bluff City Toffee. I'm very familiar with this brand. So Memphis, Tennessee, Bluff City Toffee. Fantastic people, really delicious toffee. And I didn't plan this, but as a side note, one of our, one of our most recent Made South boxes included a Bluff City Toffee. So if you wanna pick up a Made South box, we're gonna put a little uh, thing right here, madesouth.com. You can go over and do that. But we're gonna open this up, Bluff City Toffee. I probably need a knife. And I'll tell you, delicious things. Oh man, okay. All right, so here's what we got. We have some uh, milk chocolate pecan toffee. This was actually what we included in a recent Made South box. We have some dark chocolate sea salt toffee, hello. Ooh, what on earth? I did not know that they make popcorn. They have a toffee popcorn. And then uh, just a neat little thing here about, uh, you know, everything that they make. But man, that is fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit of this. I love eating, I love drinking, I love eating and drinking delicious things. And I'm really trying to be good lately. But I'm gonna try just a little bit of this. Yep. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. And then uh, this is the, let's see, dark chocolate sea salt toffee. We'll just try, I'm gonna try just like, just a little bit, you know. I gotta tell you how it is. I don't know many people who don't love a good toffee. It's butter. It's sugar. These are all good things. Chocolate too. Man, that's delicious. Thank you, Bluff City Toffee, for sending that along. Really, really fantastic. As we go through these, we're going to put their information down here. So if you want to follow them on Instagram or go to their website and buy some toffee, we would love for you to do that. We don't make anything off of that. We do this because we love the South. We love people who are making things here. And if you want to send me something and you want to have me open it up on this video and just share with people what you do and uh, try it out, we would love to have you do that. We're also going to put the address here where you can ship something to the office and we will feature it in a future Stuff People Send Me video. Okay, we're going to open up the second thing. This is from Jennifer Ward, House of Wards, right here in Franklin, Tennessee. Fantastic. All right. And it feels, this feels full. So I don't want to, I want to be really careful about how I cut into this. And you're like, you're like, oh, don't cut yourself. I'm trying not to cut myself. All right, then more, more. This is like a double whammy. You got more packages, packages upon packages. Nice little card, I'll read that later. Or maybe I should read that now, I don't know. Uh, hope you enjoy our goods, handmade in this little corner of Franklin, Tennessee, House of Wards, woodworking, candles, and gifts. You know I love a good candle. Ginger patchouli, batch number two. This is an eight ounce candle, House of Wards, right here, Franklin, Tennessee. Wow, okay. That is a fantastic smelling candle. And I cannot wait to burn that in my office. But part of me is like, I get a lot of candles. I love candles. But like, there's a big part of me that just wants to give some of this stuff away. This milk chocolate pecan toffee and this candle, I might, I might maybe give this away to somebody at the end. I don't know. Let's see. And then what do we have here? Ooh, feels like maybe a picture frame. Ooh. Okay, this is really cool. I like this. I like this a lot. Um, so this is a, uh, a, it looks like a clipboard, like a wooden clipboard that you can, now it's got a little uh, field book right here. You know, a little notebook. Now this one has, you know, a little field book that's 
in the clipboard. This looks like maybe like antique brass hardware. I, you know, I'm assuming they made the wood part. Um, that's really neat. I'm sitting here trying to think like, uh, I do, I love writing in little notebooks like this, but a lot of times I'm like, gum it. It's, it's on my knee. It's bending. It's, uh, I don't have anything sturdy behind it to kind of support it. So I think that's really fantastic. A clipboard for like a smaller notebook. Thank you guys very much. That's so cool. Uh, let's see what we have. All right. Thank you so much for the opportunity to send you a few of my candles. Uh, more candles. I can't wait. I hope you enjoy them. They, they are a few of my favorite apple bourbon cobbler and autumn woods. I would love to offer your followers 15% off their order. Now I like this. Okay. 15% off their order with the code made south. Again, thank you so much from Ackworth, Georgia, Emily Culp. Thank you very much for that note, Emily. We're going to include that down here. So I'm going to tell you about these candles. And then if you want to go over, we're going to have her web address. We're going to have her Instagram. If you want to go over and buy this candle, use the code made south and you'll get 15% off your order. That's very nice of you, Emily. And we'll include all of Emily's information here. Now, this is the Autumn Woods. Oh, smells delightful. Smells like, smells kind of apple cidery. Smells really, really good. Autumn Woods candle right there from EC Candle Company. And then Apple Bourbon Cobbler. This is my language. Oh, man. Oh, Apple Bourbon Cobbler. Yep, it smells like apples. It smells like bourbon. It smells sweet, like some brown sugar. Uh, it's got like, I can almost, it, it, can you smell tart? I feel like I can smell the tartness of like, uh, of like a Granny Smith apple. Man, I love that. Apple bourbon cider. I might keep that one. Um, I might keep them all, actually. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. All right, let's see here. Wow, this is like printed. Man, this is fantastic. I can't wait to read. This is a lot of information on here. Uh, I can't wait to read it all. But uh, the gist of it is Kelly and Madeline Montgomery are a mother-daughter team, and they make whatever is in here. I'm going to read all of this later, but we're going to find out exactly what Kelly and Madeline put in here. Molly Lou, it looks like it's the name of the brand, uh, by KM Designs, Alabama. So Molly Lou, looks like maybe a brand, something for dogs. So we're going to open up and see what Kelly and Madeline sent me here. A couple things. This is a Christmas ornament with a little dog and a in a truck. And it looks like some uh, some ribbon here that's been hand cut. It's a little red and white ribbon, little ornament right there. Can you see that? That's adorable. And it feels like porcelain. It says Merry Christmas. It's got a little dog and a truck. I think that's very cool. All right, and then the second one right here. Thank you. It says we're gonna unroll this. Wow. Holy cow. Lots of things in here. This is a Christmas bow tie. Oh man. Okay, I'm going to tell you. So we have two dogs. They are big, big dogs. One of them, they're both uh, German Shepherds. They're brother, sister. Bear is our one-eyed, long story, one-eyed, long-haired, uh, they call him a black and tan German Shepherd. Oh my goodness, y'all. I am going to have to get a picture of Bear wearing this. So I feel like this is probably going to fit Bear. Now I can't get it all. Okay, there we go. Uh, and so that's very cool. I love that. And then this fun little, another dog caught. Now we also have two kittens. Now these, the, this looks like it's for a smaller dog or a smaller pet, uh, but this is beautiful. Like a, this might be like a rose gold hardware, rose gold colored. It's not real gold, I don't think. Um, that would be silly. But, and this is this is beautiful. I mean, it's really cool. Like a smaller dog would absolutely, uh, yeah, I could totally see people wanting to put this, put these on their dogs. One more thing. A tissue. Oh wow! Wow, look at this. There's a like a um a little name tag. Look, the matches can go on right there. But yeah, it's a name tag. So they print the name on the tag. I'm not gonna be able to squeeze it. 
And then on the back it says, Minnie, uh, if lost, call my mom. And it has a place for a phone number right there. So that's really, really cool. Thank you guys very much. So, again, we're going to put their information right here. If you want to check them out, go to their website. Do that. I'm sure they would love for you to check them out. All right. And the final thing for today's stuff people send me is from Lawrenceville, Georgia, Blue Grasshopper Creations. Fantastic. Blue Grasshopper Creations. Ooh. Ooh. A variety of things. Ashley Bowling. All right, I'm Ashley. I own Blue Grasshopper Creations, a small batch shop based out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. I'm getting blind as a bat, by the way. I make a lot of different stuff. Thanks so much for giving small shops like mine a chance to be featured on your YouTube channel. Thanks again, Ashley. Thank you, Ashley. I really appreciate that. We're going to find out exactly what Ashley and Blue, Blue Grasshopper. I've never heard of a Blue Grasshopper. All right, let's see. Look, hair bows. Very, very cool. Uh, oh, wow. Look at that. Locally made. So you got a little onesie with a fun design on it that looks like a Georgia design. I think that's Georgia. Might be wrong. I'm just assuming because she's from Georgia. All right. Let's see. What is this? A snap-on bandana. Very cool. Uh, let's see. Another one. Snap-on bandana. This is uh, Drinking Buddy. Uh, let's see. This is a T-shirt. Hold my drink, I have to pet that dog. Yep. You know who would love this? John Acuff. Nope. All right, that's it. I appreciate it so much. We're going to put all these people's information right down here. And again, if you want to go to their website, check them out, buy something from them. If you want to go follow them on Instagram, we would love for you to do that. Uh, these are just some fun, random things that people are making from around the South. And I am grateful that they wanted to send me something. I loved opening these up, sharing with you a little bit about what they're doing, why they're doing it. You can check out all their information down there below. And these are very, I mean, a lot of these things fit with, you know, the style of a Made South box. They're all made in the South. Candles and toffee and, and dog bows and man, this clipboard right here and t-shirts and a clip-on, clip-on bandana, snap-on bandana. I've never even heard of it, but so fantastic. People are very creative, very smart, making a lot of really interesting things. And if you, again, and again, if you want to send me something and you want me to open it up here on the YouTube channel, we're going to put the address right there. Last thing, Made South Boxes, MadeSouth.com. We put seven different things inside every box. They're all made in the South. Every bit of these things are being made by awesome small businesses right here in the South. And that's exactly what we do in Made South Boxes. So if you want to pick one of those up, fantastic. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye.